understanding an unanswered crush. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase that you might come across in stories, movies, or even in everyday conversations, an unanswered crush. Understanding this phrase not only enriches your vocabulary but also helps you grasp the nuances of emotional expressions in English. So, let's dive in. An unanswered crush refers to a situation where one person has a romantic interest or affection towards another person, but those feelings are not reciprocated or acknowledged. Let's break it down. In this article is used here to indicate that we're talking about a singular situation or feeling. Unanswered. This part means not responded to or not reciprocated. It highlights the lack of acknowledgement from the other person. Crush. In this context, a crush is a strong feeling of romantic attraction towards someone, usually in the early stages and often accompanied by shyness or nervousness around the person. Having an unanswered crush can be an emotionally challenging experience. It involves feelings of vulnerability, uncertainty, and sometimes heartache. This phrase captures the essence of unrequited love or one-sided affection, a common theme in literature and pop culture. It's important to understand that experiencing an unanswered crush is a normal part of human relationships and emotional development. To fully grasp the meaning, let's see how it can be used in sentences. I've had an unanswered crush on my best friend for years, but I'm too afraid to tell them. The novel explores the theme of an unanswered crush, highlighting the protagonist's inner turmoil. Dealing with an unanswered crush can be tough, but it's important to remember that you're not alone. Thank you for joining us in today's video about an unanswered crush. We hope this discussion not only helps you understand the phrase better but also encourages you to explore the complex world of emotions and relationships in English. Remember, language learning is not just about words and grammar. It's also about the stories and experiences those words convey. See you in our next video.